Verdansk is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to optimize the game for the best performance. So currently I'm working on a couple of videos, uh, mainly 9800X3D versus 14900K and also some 9070XT benchmarks for Warzone. And in the last day or so since the game has been out, I've kind of been faffoing with all the settings, trying to find what performs the best. So I figured out all the best settings for gameplay smoothness, no dips, no FPS drops, no stutters, etc. I'm gonna show all that with you guys to save you some time. Now, this video is not an entire PC optimization or overclocking video. That would be impossible to do in a singular YouTube video because of how different all the different platforms and hardware are, right? That is an entire digital product that I have over on framechasers.org slash education. Now, even if your PC is not tuned, the things that I'm going to show you here are still going to help you a lot in making the game feel much better. Now, the first step, obviously, this might be kind of silly for you advanced folks, but hey, we got to assume that there are new people to the channel. One, install the latest GPU drivers. Now, I, if you're going to do it anyway, you might as well use DDU. So what you do is you download the driver, download DDU, run DDU, then install driver in that order. Now, a little caveat here, actually, I'm going to put this in asterisk, kind of special note. Do not install the optional NVIDIA app. It's just, it'll give you two boxes. Don't install the NVIDIA app. If you do opt to install the NVIDIA app, it just messes with your settings, man. Just avoid it for now. It'll like try to detect what game you're playing and do what it thinks is best. We obviously don't want that, right? So just opt out of this install. For you AMD graphics card owners, DDU is especially important for you guys because the clean install on the AMD side of things does leave a lot of garbage behind. So make sure you run DDU. Step two, now this is for you Windows 11 users. This is critical for you guys. Go to the search bar at the bottom left. For Windows 10, you might as well check it out, but type in core isolation right here. Click on that and make sure your memory integrity is turned off. This is a big one. Step three is to turn on our HAGS, Hardware Accelerated Graphics Scheduling. So you go to the search bar again, type in like GPU. You'll see graphics settings here. Click on that. Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This will not be here if you have an AMD graphics card. This is only here for NVIDIA buyers. So make sure this bad boy is turned on. Now this is specifically for Call of Duty. It might introduce other issues in other games, but if you're a COD bro, I know you don't do anything but play COD. So yeah, turn this bad boy on. Now, number four, we're gonna go into the NVIDIA control panel here. You don't really have to do this, but you might as well if you're kinda doing the whole optimization thing anyway. So you go to power management mode right here, prefer maximum performance, and then you can go to shader cache size right here go to unlimited, and then go to texture filtering quality, high performance. Those are the only three that you have to touch. Now, step number five, this is where we actually go into the config file of Warzone and Call of Duty. So what you actually have to do first here, I'm actually gonna open up a separate notepad for this one, is you have to install COD, you have to install it first, then you have to launch COD, once and the reason why you have to launch call of duty once at least is so that it generates all of the config files in your documents folder which i'll show you in a sec right but when you launch cod for the first time it'll tell you to restart it anyway and then you'll see that it's installing the shaders in the top left you don't have to wait for that to finish because it's going to redo it anyway when we change the config file so just when it launches the second time get back out so where is your config file? Well, we're going to go to File Explorer here. We are going to go to the Documents section here. And then we're going to go to Call of Duty. 
then we're gonna go to players now depending on when the last time you reformatted your computer was you might see like 50 different things here because it'll generate new call of duty config files like one for black ops one for modern warfare 2 one for modern warfare 3 one for warzone you know, there, there could be like 50 of them in here now i don't know which one's which so you're gonna have to do every single one so we're gonna go from top to bottom and the process is the exact same for every single file so when you double click on this file i've already done it here so it'll open a notepad but when you double click on this file it will say what program do you want to launch this with you go select program then you select notepad and then it will look like this so the first one here, this S1 COD24, it doesn't have anything in it, so we can skip this one. We'll go to the next one. Oh, this one does have some stuff in it. So when you see this kind of screen here, we want to change two settings. Now, the easiest way to find them is to click your mouse at the top here. Press Control F, which stands for find, Control Find. And then you type in here, what do we want to find? We want to find the words thread. And we want to find the words bar. You can do them in either order. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to start with, I want to find bar. Find next. Oh, shit. We found it. Okay. So when you get it, it will say true. You want to just change it to false. So it'll look like this, right? Oops. And then you just highlight it and you type in false. That's it. Now, the next thing we want to find is thread. Now, if you type it in and you click find next and you get this, cannot find thread, all that means is that you're searching in the wrong direction. So you can see here how it says direction. We're searching upward from the word bar. Just change it to down and then go find next and it will find it. It basically just depends on if bar or thread is first in your config file. But just search up and down and you'll find both anyway. Now here, when you search for thread, you'll see render worker count. And then you'll see it minus one, two, 16. Now I'm going to open up a separate notepad for this one again. Because this is, this is it's simple, but I got to list that out for you. If you have a six core CPU then you want to put in the number five if you have an eight core cpu now when i say eight cores I, i'm not including e cores um all high-end intel chips are eight cores okay um unless you have a 10 900k then you can put an eight there but you'll see what i mean so if you have an eight core cpu which is the 14 900k the 285k the 265k the 13700k what have you you are putting in seven now if you have 16 core cpu which is 9950x or 7950x you also put in seven now the trick is here if you have one of these bad boys, you have to go into the BIOS, turn off SMT, or else performance ass cheeks. If you don't know what this means, framechasers.org slash education. Now this also applies to the 9900X or the uh, 7900X. These, you consider these ones six cores. So you put in five, but you also have to go disable SMT on these ones. And if you have a 10900K, which is a 10 core CPU, then you put in eight here. Anything below 12 cores, leave SMT slash hyper threading on. Okay, so with that out of the way, my PC here, I have a 14 and 900 KS, which is a 8P core CPU. So I put in seven and then we hit next cancel. That's good. Now we hit file save and we do the exact same thing for every single file. So we open up the next one, control F again. I want to find the word thread. You type in number seven. Next, I want to find the word bar. 
Oh, can't find it. I'm going to search upward instead. Oh, there it is. I'm going to type in false and file save and go on to the next one and the next one and every single one. Now, if you open it and there's just nothing there, don't worry about it. You don't have to touch that one. Step number six, launch COD, wait for shaders to install. Now, when it comes to the actual in-game settings, there's a couple of them that you really got to pay attention to. The main one is the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Make sure it's on On Plus Boost. This will help your 1% lows immensely. Basically, what that means for the layman is it will feel smooth. For custom frame rate, this will depend on kind of what monitor you have. If you have a 360 hertz or a 480 hertz monitor, you can basically put unlimited. If you have a 240 hertz monitor, then you're going to want to put it at five below your monitor's refresh rate. Again, that will just make the whole game feel and look much smoother. Now for the quality here, I would not recommend that you use any kind of FSR or DLSS or any kind of upscaling technology. It it just doesn't work that well in Warzone. You can try it out by all means if, if it works better for you. If you're if you're running like a 2060 or something, then you might have to. But if you're running on kind of like modern day hardware, if Fidelity FX Cast is gonna be your best bet. And then kind of you can play with the sharpening to see what works best for your eyes. And on the same token, do not use any kind of frame generation technology. Turn all this crap off. And then for the rest of it, basically low everything, turn everything off, baby. And then you are fully optimized for your Verdansk experience. If you have any more questions about this, you need to be in my Discord to contact me, framechasers.org. But I hope that this helps a bunch of people get their COD experience going. And don't forget to subscribe because in the next video, we're going to check out the 9800X3D versus the 14900KS max overclock versus max overclock. And then we'll also check out the 9070XT to see if that's actually viable in this Call of Duty engine. So again, I hope this helped you and I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.